postdoc and bioinformatician in Eli Tanaka's lab, and we recently published a paper on axolotl genome. The axolotl is a very important organism in regeneration studies. Hi, my name is Siegfried Schleusnick. I work at the Heidelberg Institute for Theoretical Studies, or HITS for short, and I will be joining the IMP in Vienna soon. We recently had a paper on the axolotl genome, the largest genome assembled so far. A genome is composed of um, four basic building blocks, the nucleotides or bases. With the axolotl, we faced two big problems. The, the first one was its, its sheer size, 32 gigabases or 32 billion base pairs, which is roughly 10 times the size of the human genome. And the second problem was is its repetitiveness. When we are talking about repetitiveness or repeats, we are, we are referring to regions in the genome which are essentially copies of one another. So you, you have pieces in there which you can truly differentiate ba based on the sequence. If you combine the size and the repetitiveness, you end up with vast requirements on CPU time and storage. Over the last couple of years, we developed a new genome assembler, which we called Marble, that was specifically designed to to deal with large and repetitive genomes. One of the features we, we added for the axolotl assembly was a way for the assembler to figure out which sequences it, it doesn't need to spend a lot of time with. Thereby we were able to achieve a one order of magnitude reduction in CPU and storage requirements, while at the same time improving assembly statistics over the next largest assembled genome by an order of magnitude. My role in the whole work was to work with the axolotl transcriptomes, so with a set of transcribed genes, and also annotating them to the genome, so that you know which parts of the genome are actively transcribed, which are active, and so on. The main finding in the paper is that we managed to assemble the axolotl genome and also to annotate genes, because it's also very difficult to annotate genes de novo, given the size of the axolotl genome. So we had to go another way. We had to assemble the transcriptome first and then map the transcripts onto the assembled genome to annotate the genes. The axolotl genome is going to be a very important tool for our group and also for other groups in the field of axolotl regeneration research because uh, you cannot imagine a modern molecular biology or whatever application without knowing the genome of the model organism. I would like to especially highlight the contribution of a co-author on the paper, Siegfried Schleusnick, for creating the axolotl genome assembly tool and for actually assembling the axolotl genome. I'm so grateful that, um, that we worked with these people to assemble the axolotl genome. It's really important for the community. And I'm so pleased that Siegfried Schleusnick is joining the IMP to work further on the genome with us.